Welcome back, collective. I am back with a, another collective message. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get straight into it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the relationship that we have with you. We thank you for the connection with you. Jesus, we thank you that you are a friend that sticks closer than a brother and you will never leave us or forsake us. Father, I thank you for that. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would move freely in this environment. Father, Lord, my God, I pray that you would use the Holy Spirit to move through me, to speak the message precisely and clearly the way that you have it for us. We pray, Father, that you would expose all of our enemies, Father. Use the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, to give us revelation knowledge, give us the tactics and the strategies so that we can handle every situation appropriately. We bind and rebuke those that try to take on our character and our likeness, those that try to imitate us, to steal our energy, those that try to drain from us or pull from us, we bind and rebuke them. They, they are very much seen, Father. And we pray that you would give us the exact strategy and how you want us to handle them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this space. I bind and rebuke all demonic energies, every evil eye, every jealous and contentious spirit, anyone who is harvesting uh, re secret resentment of my success or the success of the collective, we expose you now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that your blood keeps us protected. I thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge. In Jesus' name I pray for your word to move clearly, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, Collective. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well. I have a message, another message for you guys. Okay, so you have someone looking at you, um, Collective. They see you in this very fiery energy. They feel like um, you are very direct. You speak up for yourself. You not only will test yourself, um, you inspire yourself, but you test others and you inspire others. This person feels like they, I don't know, you inspire them with your confidence, with how you are. They just see you as being very fiery. This person is in a space of healing and they're trying to await some type of wisdom or insight right now because um, this person has been in um, complete indifference in regards to how they handle you. So like this could really be a player. This could be someone that, you know, feels passionate about something and then they want to take action on it. But it's like you end up hurt in the end, or it's like they're really thinking about how they just took this quick action towards you. This could be an action of passion. This was like, um, could be an act of passion that they took quickly towards you that ended in a heartbreak or betrayal. This could be just, you know, someone coming towards you with this idea or whatever it was, they were fully confident in doing this and they had no intention on staying around. They just, you know, wanted to come in and have this, this moment or whatever. Um, this looks like this person running in and out of your life in a way that it just really like, this is too much for you. You're not going to continue this. This person's player, player attitude, or like this sexual passion that this person has, like the way that they're driven from place to place, or they want to come towards you and then go or whatever, like this leaves you very wounded to, a, to the point where you're not going to do this <laughs> anymore. And you see this, um, or they see this in you, this decision that, you know, this is a part of this direct kind of like very go-getter, confident attitude that you carry. They see this as you like being saved by the bell, you know, like you being very awakened and alert to the manipulation, the mind games. This is, was a toxic connection. They This person wanted you connected to them in a very unhealthy way. 
And it's like ultimately the darkness versus the light type energy stuff you had going on here with this person. It's like they were either angry with you all the time or they were cheating. You know, like this is someone that just is like a sociopath. You know, like this is someone that will just torment you just to like, because they have this addiction for this. You know, like this anti-destiny energy. But it's like you are resilient. And once you recognize this, this is past, present, or future collective. You know, this could have already happened with someone, some type of player. But it's like once you recognize that, you took action really fast. You may have communicated very quickly with this person exactly what you were thinking. But this was like suddenly, you know, like things kind of just came at, at them or it came at you. But you were really thinking on your feet with this. And you like learned the lessons in it and you just moved ahead quickly. It's, you know, it's like you had to move forward through, you know, just sheer willpower. <clears throat> like staying balanced, you know, like you felt like whatever it is that you had to take sudden action, like once you realize this and you took sudden action, that this was like a toxic connection. This person wanted you to have an unhealthy attachment to them. And this is all the way like against what your purpose is. You know, the path that's already been set in front of you is not, it has nothing to do with wicked mind games and some tormentor on a war path against you. Because you're confident and you're inspiring, you know, that's not okay. So it's like you moved ahead. It, the way that you moved ahead was almost like you had it planned, like you had some type of planned action already. But, you know, that, you know, more than likely that's not the case. It's just that once you, once you felt the lesson or, or once you received the discipline in this, when I say discipline, I'm saying like, you got hurt in this. This is like, you know, something happened to the point where it felt like a spiritual spanking for you. And this, and to this person, it seems like you're so balanced that you were already planning something, you know, but it, it's not that you had to move forward using nothing but sheer willpower. You are just fully developed in your independence. So it's it's not hard for you to move forward past something. You don't have to have that plan. It's just like, oh, okay, like I felt a spanking in that. You know, there was something about this that lets you know, you let your guard down in a way where this person had no intention. With this indifference here, they had no, and they were completely indifferent. This was just going to be like, this person was just gonna trample all over you, just back and forth. <laughs> And that's where, you know, like that, you felt like that spiritual spank kind of come in with you because this is something you know better. This is not for you. You took, like, you were hasty <laughs> in moving forward. You had to, like, really, <laughs> you had to run. Somebody sent you running. <laughs> like what the heck <laughs> you had to run good job collective run from players run from these people oh my gosh holy spirit Yeah, you were in regret with this too. Like you were in a lot of regret with this. Like, dang it, you know? You could have really regretted just like the whole situation. Having to really walk away from this person. But it's like ultimately, you know, like you're not done fighting for what it is that you believe in. It could be that you regret, like, not really seeing that, you know, that this person was going to be 
if it's just going to be a dark versus light kind of thing, this person was really trying to do everything they could to create some type of toxic bond so that they can control the connection. It's like, um, you know, this person the entire time, it's like this person was just elaborately planning to offer you something that was just going to be really immature and that would really fizzle out. You know, this is someone that's going to give attention to whatever is catching their eye at the moment. And they, they could really like to go from place to place or person to person, or they like to make these very kind of like low, low value, low vibrational offers because they feel like you might, you're too good for them. They see you as this fully actualized queen, you know, like having this backstory, having done like healing work and all whatever. But their plan was to always, you know, just be slow moving in this. So that they could give you something that's not very adequate. They might want to apologize for that. Well, they do. They want to come in and apologize because this is like, um, you know, something is really shocking this person as well. It could shock you that they want to come in and apologize for this. They want to finish what they started, I guess. This emotional offer or apology that they offer you could really like take you by surprise. This could be like, you could see this as like, them, you know, like this is a sudden change or something. This is not because this person is like having sleepless nights and anxiety. This person feels like they were totally opposing their own level of comfort and happiness and abundance. Like this person feels like they fought against all of the things that would make them feel happy and content. All of the things that, you know, would put them in a space of relaxation and overflow. They feel like, you know, the things that would really keep them in high spirits, they just fought against that. All of the things that they wanted and they want to be in a better balanced energy. They don't want to, you know, lose something forever because they're so off balance. This person feels like they want to really transfer what they have in their heart or what they have been imagining as far as like being a in a better balanced energy. They want to bring that into reality. And um, this is divine intervention. So I have temperance and the tower. This is divine intervention twice. So it's like, this is just, all of this is a rude awakening and how they have been this opposing force to their long-term happiness and the things that really make them feel satisfied in every area of life. And this is coming at this person very quickly. <clears throat> They see you as an earth angel. They want to do the right thing. It's like now that they've seen what's right, they want to like take action in the right way. This person could be cho like choosing to move very quickly as far as like accessing all of their resources that they have to make something happen. <clears throat>
they feel like what they have done is like they manifest, they, instead of them using their resources to really draw out the better parts of you or the better parts of the connection, they feel like they do things to kind of manipulate. Um, it really causes to, it really draws out the hurt in you, like the shadow side or like the hurting part, you know, like this person feels like they pull on like, you know, like they, how do I don't say it? Yeah, they feel like they've been manifesting a certain level of heartbreak and betrayal towards you. And they want to come in quickly and say something about that. They could really be thinking like, you know, you make me happy. Like you're what really makes the sunshine for me. This person feels like whenever you guys celebrated, there were victories before and them wanting to have all of these options and getting caught up in all of these illusions. It's like, you know, this person saw wealth in one area. They saw um, maybe possibly like a secret partner in one area. It's like there was something else that someone was trying to offer them that there was like emotions involved, but this person was sneaky. They felt that they could be victorious over here. And, you know, like this person, wanted to pull on so many different areas of emotion to really kind of satisfy all of these spaces in them. And it just brought in a lot of confusion and burdens for this person. This person feels like they could have had better um, success if they were working with you and partnering with you. You know, being very dedicated and committed to the things that they're very invested in. They want to turn their back on like third party partnerships or, or like third party dates and, you know, just doing all of this extra celebrating with everybody and really focus on their work. They're trying to walk away from having toxic connections and, you know, level up in that area of their lives so that they can hold back from the things that they would normally be tempted to go towards or normally feel bound to or drawn to. They want to hold back so they can start having more victories and, you know, closing out cycles successfully in their life too. And it's just like, this is why when they come towards you, they make you offers that seem childish. And it's because they feel like you're just a little too good for them. Although they feel, they see you as their life partner, like they see you as their perfect match. The one that they want to be seen publicly having this success and this victory with, they want to be seen as the one that's the champion that really won your heart. And you know, that they are your equal, they are your match. They're the yin to your yang or yang to your yin, whatever. But it's like this person fights against taking this leap of faith because they left you out in the cold or they feel left out in the cold. They feel some type of lack right now, or they, they feel heavily judged for leaving you out in the cold. They had a lot of secrets. They wanted to block you out from all of the secrets that they were hiding because they knew that you were this earth angel and you could take and balance and transmute energy. And, you know, like, you know how to, you understand certain things and they didn't want you to say anything about it. This is why they wanted to take some time to reconcile and come back into, you know, um, come back together with you. Although they feel like this has been the plan the entire time. They wanted to be slow about it, to take action where, you know, they have achieved certain, you know, they've restructured certain patterns. They've unlearned certain behaviors. And now they feel very much like I've earned this. I'm ready to do this. You know, like I'm going to come towards this person. And, you know, this is how they wanted to get their plan together. Because it's like the emotions, it, but the love that they have for you is not letting that happen. Because they feel like if they if they keep turning their back on you and they keep waiting longer and longer, by the time they look back, you'll be gone. You would have moved on to calmer waters, very much hurt and mis feeling very much misunderstood. And this person feels like, you know, they're spying on you right now. They see you as being just highly intuitive. They feel like you have a sense of knowing that you're not saying anything about. So you just continue to focus on, you know, whatever it is that you're growing financially. And this is what's changing this person's perspective. They can't help but admire this healed energy that you carry and this wealthy, abundant energy that you carry at the same time. This is like 
day and night. <laughs> Damn, uh, the lonely stoners, the free is mine at night. This is like, this is how you're seeing in the day. This is who you are at night, you know? And this is the result of like this level of independence or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they want to say something. It's just like your confidence, your charisma, your uh, ability to take action. Yeah. The Empress. This is male or female energy. Oops. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Like, they don't really know how to handle this. And it's like this person has been nothing but a heavily guarded player for a very long time. King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And now they're very emotional about you. They love you. They have so many feelings for you. They want to try and end all of these emotions. They don't know what to do with this. They don't know what to do with these kind of feelings. It's like, just go with it. <laughs> just stop trying to fight against everything. This person continually fights against the love, the affection, whatever it is, and they're the only ones that don't see the stagnation in their own growth. It's just like they hurt you and it pushes you forward. You have to rise above it, meaning you go through some level of, um, you know, soul death, and then you have to like re- birth yourself again through the heartache and all of that so you continuously grow and elevate you're not going down and it's like this person is staying stagnant by by not taking this action you know it's 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 hindering their growth it's not hindering yours this person can't get past the the initial yeah, they feel inadequate, but it's like, are they communicating that? I don't know, man. This person needs to communicate. Stop running like a player. This is just like causing so much imbalance. It's making this person juggle. They feel like they're juggling opportunities. They're ending something like... They might have to end, this could be somebody ending a marriage. This could be somebody ending some type of traditional connection or partnership. This could be ending ties with an organization, some type of spiritual leadership or, or um, ending connections or ending a tie with something that is like highly influencing their behavior or that could have them feeling like they have to, you know, conform and have like this level of group thinking. They want to end that and turn their back to that so that they can come and make a better balanced offer to you. Something very stable, you know, to catch you before you walk away and leave them forever. And then they're buried in embarrassment and burdens because they just lost their empress or their emperor. They don't feel like they've celebrated with you in the right way. They haven't really like had fun with you in the right way. This is like something that's really standing out to them. This is why they want to hold on to you. They feel like they haven't had an opportunity to fully invest the way that they want to in this connection. There's only been, you know, possibly one moment or um, one time specifically that they can really think of that would really hold some type of substantial weight um, you know, in regards to this connection right here. And they feel very judged for that. They feel very judged for not investing in the opportunities that were presented in regards to this connection before and just kind of like, but they see this as like really taking them off guard, I guess, that, you know, you guys match and you have such equal you know, this equal um, level of attraction and loyalty, camaraderie. This is like mutual respect and love and affection. This person, you know, feels judged about that. And it's like, they want to take this leap of faith towards you.
they they feel like you are fully aware that you make them happy, that they're kind of like giving you some contradicting energy here. And then here's their day and night. Oh, that's funny. So it's like, this is how they feel when they think about you, when they're with you. This is like them really acknowledging the, the energy that they feel like you make them happy. You make them feel like they're victorious, you know? And then at night, they're really like guilty, I guess. There's something that they want to say. There's like a truth that they want to reveal, I guess, to you. But yeah, they want to say something about like, they feel like they've been pulling the wrong energy, you know, like they have been affecting your confidence in the wrong way. They have really been affecting the confidence that you have in this connection, the love in this connection. You, you may lack a lot of confidence in, in this now, you know, feeling very betrayed, feeling like you're just one situation away from just really giving up and being in regret about this. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So it's like they um they look at you collective, they see you as someone that you know, you're everything that they wanted. If this person sat aside and told possibly one person, or if they're, you know, or this could even be based on like what their parent, what their father would want, you know, there's something about who you are and where it's like, not only are you exactly what was asked for, what was, you know, really sought after and desired, but there's some level of inheritance or some level of um, spiritual wealth, inheritance, like financial abundance and wealth that's attached to you. So it's like this person being in this marriage or this connection, whatever with you would really be like a blessing for this person and this person's family. But they feel like, you know, they fought against their their happily ever after, like their life partner, the person they're supposed to spend their life with. They feel like they fought against. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Perfect. Thank you. One more, please. One more, please. Clarify the world in the high priestess. Please. One more, please. Holy Spirit. This person wasn't saying anything, but they felt like they had it all. They would have it all with you. It would be like them really achieving a lot. This would complete a lot in their life. Yeah, they feel like even just celebrating with you would bring them in a better balanced energy. Spending time with you, being close to you. So, you know, like a light has been shed on the fact that this person needs to really trust th to cleanse their energy. They got clarification. Um, you trusted this person. This is what they are saying now. Yeah, you trusted this person. You did. You, you know, and they're seeing that. Confirmation, the ice maker. They're seeing that, you know, 
you really trusted them. You had faith in whatever it was that they were bringing you some type of pure offer. You had faith that there was some level of, you know, pure, purity in this, that, that this was true. Yeah, Ace of Wands, like you thought that this was going to be a new passionate opportunity, but the truth is, it's like this person had only had intentions on, you know, influencing you in a certain way so that you wouldn't be greater than them. You could have said something to this person about that. It may have taken you a while to say something, but you did. You did. And then you walked away. Yeah, it took a while for you to really just like, you moved on. You are, you have a new opportunity somewhere else. Like you see an opportunity for you to move forward some towards something else that could be very positive for you. This person was in like this King Saul energy where they didn't want you to be greater than them. You know, like this was, you know, someone was really holding back and this was because they wanted to have this non-aggressive kind of control and they wanted to persuade you um, the way that they wanted you to go. Them holding back from you was going to be a way for, you know, this was basically a way for them to kind of like pull away your greatness, to make you put you in a lesser place. You had to walk away from this. You didn't do it right away, but you did reluctantly or whatever. You did. This person's ignorance and their arrogance, you know, like they feel like this is someone that feels as though they can do anything better than someone else, regardless of their experience, their knowledge of whatever it is, their level of expertise. Like this is someone that just thinks very highly of themselves, you know, and the fact is they don't really know. I don't know. But this person was dishonest with you. This is someone that really wanted to win at all costs. This was very, um, this was very much one-sided loyalty. This was an empty victory for this person. They were petty with you or they lied to you about something. Hmm. They wanted their wishes to come true. This is someone that was like, they collect cups of love. Like they collect emotions. You know, this, this is a collector. As long as they can say, I did this or I did that, or they can go here and there and pull from this person or that person. I don't know. It's, it is very arrogant and very ignorant. It's not okay. But they're very overindulgent. They enjoy what they get. They enjoy when they can like emotionally defeat someone. They take that as like a as like you know an achievement. Because this is someone that will win at all costs or get even with you or backstab you or like bully you, but they do it in a petty way where it's like it's very covert. They could be juggling now juggling their emotions this person could be juggling their profit and their loss they could be juggling like you know how they feel about a lot of stuff they may not be very balanced right now because of what they try to do in this arrogance yeah and this lover's connection with this queen of pentacles yeah them holding back from you has caused them ups and downs in their life this person is like really juggling now. They feel very silly. <clears throat> yeah, they're trying to find a balance. Clarify more. Holy Spirit. Yeah, they have nightmares or they just can't really sleep at night over the thought 
of this, you know, this was supposed to be some form of like um, successful partnership or whatever. This person was in this Cain and Abel energy though. Like, you know, it's just like they're seeing within themselves that they wanted to get some type of positive karma and overindulge and do something to you to make themselves feel better. But it just ended with them feeling, um, you know, very off balance because they, they were envious of what the offer that you made to the Lord, the offer you made to God was more accepted than theirs. And this is somebody that like sees you as their partner, like the two of cups. They see you as like the ideal counterpart soulmate. You know, you guys have a foundation that you built together. You guys would be relaxed in each other's environment. This is harmony. This is like, like, yeah, this is like a relationship that would have really good results. Very happy home. But this is an arrogant person. So they have to be better than you. They have to do it better than you. They have to be the one, you know. They have to make you bow down. And it's just like this person's desire to, you know, come after you because of your spiritual gifts or because of, you know, what God has blessed you with or how you've handled your relationship with the most high. This person is like, they know that that's what, that's what disrupted this relationship. That's what came in between this connection and this 10 of pentacles. You guys having this happy family. This is the two of cups and the 10 of pentacles. What about this person? And Cain and Abel. Where they do that at? How does that even work? Where do they do that? At? This is literally family, a spouse, a brother, a sister. Like this is someone close. This is that, that person that is like, this has been your love. This is like your love, but this is also like your best friend kind of thing. Like, this is more than just a relationship, you know? Like, that's crazy. They know that this is the energy that came in and disrupted this relaxed environment in this perfect match that you guys have. This harmony and bliss and this connection. Now they're waiting. They want to know, like, they trying to, they're trying to see if you'll come towards them, but they're really worried that you're just going to keep fighting them off. They see things totally different now. They got hung up upside down. And it's just like, now that they see, they're going to be left out in the cold without you. They don't want to try and delay this anymore. They don't want to cause these problems anymore. They don't want to bring in any type of like, you know, awareness of this. Like you just lost all interest in this, you know? You have just like, what what they did, the betrayal, what they did was enough to make you just totally like stop thinking about it and just come to a full stop. And that's the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you have to fight off that connection with that person to protect your, your own personal victories. This really caught you off guard that you had to fight somebody that you really felt like you were going to have this happy family bliss in this total emotional happiness with them you don't see this though but they want to come back towards you and reconcile with you but they see you as being so intuitive so tapped in so independent you know they're really worried about what that's going to be like <clears throat> all right i'm gonna leave it there okay like share subscribe i love you guys bye